Now we're here to do Sneezy with the dollar sign, which Uncle Beach Australia's plug to the most diverse, unique music across the world. Pause. Pause. His name's Sneezy. So, sorry, I don't know if I'm saying it right because it's got a dollar sign at the front. We're doing a Patreon unknown artist reaction review. All right, I gotta say now, you gotta start your own your own boy band like Rockhampton, and you gotta call it the Seven Dwarfs. What? Sneezy the Seven Dwarfs. Because man, I could be, I could be, I could be bashful or. I'll be dopey. Yeah, I can be. Who was it? You can be happy, bro. But we need to find grumpy, sleepy, fucking doc. What's this got to do with anything? The sneeze is a dwarf, bro. Oh, he is. One of the dwarfs, man. I didn't know that. I'm not up to date on my dwarfs. Fuck yeah, man. You gotta do that shit. You gotta start your own seven dwarfs fucking group, bro. But we out here, um, Sneezy, uh, aka. Uh, actually, I'm not. I'm not gonna pronounce that correctly. <laughs> yeah, we gotta um, fuck it up. Sorry. Well, He's from Asian uh, ethnicity. Uh, he supported us on, on Patreon, and so this is what we do. If you want us to review mm -hmm. and react to your music and put it out to our thousands of, of fans, then uh, you can head on our Patreon in the description. Otherwise, we're going to get to his first two tracks. Uh, sorry, it's Min Trin is his actual name. Mm -hmm. uh, I apologize for not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, first track is called Set Trippin. Yeah. He's from the U.S., I'm hyped, man. I love reviewing shit that I have no idea about because it's all gonna be natural. Made yet. with mixed crap. through kind of gangster style rap. It was a little more uh, kind of creative and, and, and constructed a bit better, but this is how I got into music. I necessarily enjoy this type of simplicity and this beat and you just kind of fucking... It's still good shit. You just kind of, you know, it's the music you can run to, lift to. But as I say on most videos, if you're going to do something that other people are doing, you got to do it better and this isn't that good. Mm -mm. Honestly, uh, lyrically quite boring and dense. Uh, even your mic, it sounds like your mic's a bit of not decent quality, like good quality, and I can hear it sort of at stages clip a bit and be a bit more louder than the actual production. So I think that as a total, this track could have been uh, mastered a bit better. And I don't know, man. Let's get to the most obvious point. You drop on the M word a lot, man, and it doesn't look like you're black. Or of any type of yeah. ethnicity relating to that, but outside of that, it's not just that. It's it's I'm questioning the authenticity of 
this entire persona. Uh, as in, like, is this who you really are? But that's okay if it's not, right? Because people could rap yeah, and yeah. sing from a different persona because it's a fun, creative way. I don't mind that. Um, yeah. But it just seems too disconnected. Yeah, and you could be biracial, like Logic, and we ain't aware of it. But uh, honestly, man, I think that if you're taking this lane, with this approach, I can't see it doing anything for you. Because, as you said, I, I don't think it really sounds that authentic, and people have done this sound already, it's kind of past. If you're going to make it with a sound like this, you got to be big, man. you got to be... Like, if you're not going to be different, then you gotta, you got to get up something about it. you got to be really good. This, like, I just don't see this doing anything for you. It's, I didn't really find it that enjoyable. Let's get to the second track you wanted us to hear. It's, it's his most popular track. I thought it was a drought. A drought? Drought. With mix. Uh, same, same producer. Starting the track with that producer tag is a bit cumbersome. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I'd probably try and make it fit in better so it yeah. doesn't ruin the flow. Yeah. Like Mike Will, maybe. Even though it's a terrible tag as well, but it works. But it's become so iconic. Yeah. Or he's actually great. Jungle producer. Beats! Yeah, I just fucked your bitch with some Gucci flip flops. Real man, we don't even say that anymore. It's like it's that's, uh, what, that's what we do. I like to let people know still that just in case. I, I got you for fair enough, especially people that are checking out Patreons that are like are friends with them or something. Yeah, like, yeah. they don't go, oh, These guys are shitting on. I was like, nah, man, like we have be shitting on, we believe and we support them still. Yeah, anyway, to the track. This is my least favorite of the, the, the tracks that we just heard. <sighs> I prefer it <clears throat> for the flow, it for the first half, but it's mixed. It's mixing is, is off. Once again, it's really weird because the track before, the vocals were too loud, but here the vocals are too soft. And you also you can hear that the quality is just not up to scratch yeah. compared to the production. Like the mic quality is not as good as the production quality. Yeah. I really think you need to invest in a definitely better mic or better mastering because it's just really, you can just hear it, man. And also there definitely stage this track where you're trying to, you were definitely off beat just a little bit with certain lines you had. I did like some of the lines, like I'm scary, like Terry, Rick and Morty reference. I fuck with shit like that. So there are some good lines in here. I do like some of your quicker flows, but once again, it's quite generic, uh, quite simply put in many manners. And and you spent the latter half of the track just talking. Just stunned. And you could do that. Just rap. Like, just rap, man. Just put that into creativity and some bars instead. We say this with a lot of artists, like... And Logic did it too. Mm -hmm. Like, so many artists will just like to talk on tracks. And some of them will do it for ages and like, fuck, they may like doing that. But I just feel like if you got so much to say in that regard, just fucking rap it. Like, fuck. Uh, all in all, man, I'm not, not really huge on these tracks. Uh, 
I really think, like I said, if you're going to take this direction, then you're going to be a lot better than this, like a lot better, because it's really hard to break it with this sort of sound right now. And if you don't want to break it, you're just happy doing music, fuck it, do it, if you enjoy it. But I think you just need a complete fucking shift up with your sound, with your persona, because I don't really know if this is you. It'd be nice to know your backstory and how this, this sort of, this sort of, how this oh, sort man. of message and this anger and everything relates to you. Yeah. I, I personally think that if you were to go about music, you would have changed everything, but fuck it, man, you do you. And or, or don't. Because that might not work. Okay. And you but, might but, need to reinvent yourself. But that's why we're here, man. We give our honest opinions. And fuck, man, you can flow. You do have a decent voice, like a lot of work. Fuck it. You could be whatever. You could be great, man. We believe, but we're all just about helping you along the way. Yeah, so I hope that's uh, that's valuable to you, um, <sighs> Sneezy. Because this ain't, this, ain't, this ain't that good. Nah. And I mean, also, your producer tag at the start and finish. Nah, man. You gotta move that. Even if you're the producer or if your friend's a producer, just. Make it, make it so it fits in with the tracks. It's just fucking, it doesn't fit. Because it, think about the intention span of a listener. They see your track on SoundCloud and Spotify. Like, what the fuck is this? This is just talking. This is a producer tag. Next. Like, you got to capture them immediately. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Well, Jungle Beats, if you want us to review and shit on your music, <laughs> please go to patreon.com forward slash Jungle Beats. Link's in the description. Um, if you're brave enough, if you're courageous enough, yeah, man. That's why I don't want to make music. <laughs> I, I I'd go into a cave for like two years and I wouldn't. I'd just release it. No one would see my face or name. I'd just bro. be undercover. No, man. You gotta let people see your face. Not beautiful yet. face, Not bro. yet. I'd do like the weekend type shit. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. True, true. Jeez. Be about the music. Be about so the just music. judge that first and then we can get to the rest. True. If I saw your face, I'd expect greatness, man. Then it'd be this shit ass fucking half rap trash trash. See, I haven't even started and I'm getting <laughs> shit on. See, it's the life. It's hey, life. Thank you, Jungle Beats. We Jungle Beats. Are we? Nah, man, we're, we're trash. <laughs>